How exclusive are the monogram leather speedy bags from Pharrell's first collection at Louis Vuitton? I wanted to do a little hot topic or discussion video with you guys today talking about exclusivity in luxury and how exclusive these bags are if that contributes to warranting their very high price point. So I am a huge Pharrell fan. I'll start by saying that I am biased. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you'll know how excited I was about this collection collection, but one of the most talked about pieces from this collection were the colorful leather monogram speedy bags and their very high price point. I think one of the big questions around these bags that I was seeing was exactly how exclusive are they? We saw that Louis Vuitton and Pharrell were sending them to a lot of friends of the brand, influencers, etc. And a lot of sales associates were reaching out to top clients about getting ready for the pre-orders and stuff in advance. So it was confusing to me that there was no sharing of, you know, were these bags numbered? How exclusive are they? How many of them are there? So the colorful leather speedy bags are available in three sizes. You have the 25, the 40, and the 50. The colors being released to the public were yellow, red, blue, and green on January 4th. And then the monogram brown was being released apparently in February. We also saw that the orange 40 speedy was released exclusively to via treasure trunk holders. This is Louis Vuitton's NFT program. So basically, as we know of right now, there's 13 leather speedies that were being released to the public. You've got the size 25 in red, blue, yellow, green, or the brown for 9,300. You've got the size 40 in red, yellow, green, blue, or brown for 11,100. And then you have the size 50 in either red, green, or brown for 12,000. $1,400. So I'll do a separate video on what goes into that price and whether I think the bags are worth the price, but I do think one big factor in price is exclusivity, which is what we're talking about in this video. Exclusivity plays a big part in luxury, in my opinion. Tell me your thoughts below in the comments, but I think it is a big driver behind bags like the Hermes, Birkin and Kelly, for example, as well as many other hyped up collections that sort of sell out at retail. It's all about the exclusivity. I will say that personally, exclusivity does impact my opinion on what I buy. And that is because I love unique pieces that not everyone else has. So usually if it's limited number of quantity, that means that I'm not going to be seeing a ton of people wearing the same bag as me. Now there's nothing wrong with wearing the same bag as everyone else. It is something that influences my personal buying decisions though. So Louis Vuitton did not confirm the quantity produced of these bags. And there's several reasons why I think that. The only quantity that they did confirm was that the Orange 40, which again was only offered to via treasure trunk holders, that means they bought into the NFT program. I believe it cost $40,000 to buy in. And these customers that are part of the program get exclusive access to NFTs that they can redeem for physical product. So they were offered the Orange Size 40. And it specifically said on the announcement that we saw on social media, media that there were only 200 of these available. We have no idea how many people own the Via Treasure Trunk, and then we don't know how many people actually redeemed it, but we do know that they were limiting the actual release to 200 customers. So keep that number in mind as we talk about how many might be available of the other colorways. Louis Vuitton has not publicly shared via sales associates via press, how many pieces there are of each size or colorway. But I will tell you what I heard from my sales associate during the pre-order process. So here's what we do know. VVIC or very important top clients are able to place their orders pretty much directly off the runway. They tell their client advisors exactly what they want. Those orders are placed. And then it sort of trickles down from there in terms of seniority. The rest of us were able to place our pre-orders on December 1st. So if you have a sales associate, they'll reach out to you and say, are you interested in purchasing from the collection? And they are able to put in their pre-orders in the system on December 1st. I do not work for Louis Vuitton. So again, all of this that I'm saying is alleged. This is all just my thoughts, interpretations of things that I've seen online and things that I've heard from my sales associate. So on the day of release, I was told that the leather monogram speedy bags in particular were going to be very hard to secure. That Paris 
told the associates that there were only 1,200 of these available globally across all colors and sizes. And I was also told that the pre-order sold out within 30 minutes. Now, I do not know if that means that it was 1,200 across just those colors. Again, the brown monogram wasn't releasing yet, so I don't know if it was just for those particular colors that were releasing on 12-1. And I do not know how that 1,200 number would have been split between colors and sizes. As somebody that comes from a fashion background in buying and merchandising, you put the most units behind the colors that you think will sell the most. So I don't know if it's something that they would have spread the units evenly or if they would have put more behind the sizes or colors that they thought they were going to sell more of. In this example, the size 25 is the most affordable. It's also probably the most like daily wear appropriate. So maybe they put more units besides the size 25, for example, instead of the size 50, which is a much bigger bag. Regardless, if we include the brown in that color, so 13 styles available total across all colors and sizes, 1200 divided by 13 means 92 units per style. I don't think it was that small. But one other interesting piece of evidence was that on December 3rd, Luxury Law, who is a very famous stylist for Zendaya and many other celebrities, he posted on his Instagram stories a picture of the red Speedy. I believe it was the size 40, but I don't know for sure because it wasn't specified. But he posted an Instagram post thanking Pharrell and he wrote on his post, one of a hundred, obviously, I think meaning that the bag was one of a hundred units. If we exclude the brown colorway from that 1200 number that my sales associate said Paris had told the staff, that would make it 10 styles, meaning that there were about 120 per color. So I think the other interesting thing is, were there 1,200 available for pre-order only on that day? And then are they shipping more units to the pop-ups and the stores to have them available in the back room, kind of like Pharrell mentioned in his interviews? Who knows? We don't know the exact number. However, we do know that they are very limited. And that is, I think, for two reasons. Because one, the brand wanted to keep them limited. Two, it's a very expensive bag and they didn't think they were going to be selling tons of them. So you better to play it safe. One thing that I do think is really interesting though is I saw many people asking if the bags were numbered or thinking that the bags were numbered. However, the bags are not numbered. From what I've seen, none of the bags are numbered, not the ones being sold to the public or the ones being given to like influencers, friends, and family. We don't know if maybe the Via, uh, the orange speedies, maybe those ones are numbered since they publicly said there were only 200 being produced, but who knows? We won't know unless we see an unboxing and we see the plaque. We do know that the other colorful monogram speedies though, they aren't numbered. Numbered. And I do think that it's very interesting that they didn't number them. It's interesting to me because exclusivity does play such an important role in luxury. It does matter to a lot of people. I think it would have given this bag even more of a selling point if the bags were numbered. Why I think Louis Vuitton didn't number them though is because I think that they don't know how many they want to produce. I also think that they were gifting them to so many friends of the brand, celebrities, I don't, I don't know if influencers necessarily were gifted. I know from my angle, I saw more celebrities posting them, but I do think that with gifting at play, it is hard to number the pieces. I also think that Louis Vuitton probably wanted to see how many sold and how many pre-orders they got. So they didn't want to limit themselves to a specific number because now they can technically produce more and send more to stores if they want to, if they see the opportunity to make more money there versus if they would have said there's only 12, each of these bags is limited to 200 a piece, then they basically, you know, cut themselves off in terms of profitability. They can't produce anymore because that would be weird. If the bag says, you know, number five of 200, then you can't just add another bag. I'm very curious. Please let me know in the comments what your sales associates were telling you on how many of these bags were available. I love knowing how exclusive something is or how many there are of something. Didn't seem like there was a clear answer out there. The most clear text that I got was that they had heard there were around 1,200 globally. I am very interested to see though if Louis Vuitton will start producing more of these. In my opinion, even if they make more colorful leather, leather speedies in the future, they should create new colors. And 
each season, those specific colors for that season should be limited to that season. I do think it would have been better had they numbered them and just stuck to their guns. Again, though, I could see why they didn't do that. I do think it's disappointing to a lot of customers. I was reading comments of people that were disappointed that it wasn't numbered, said they weren't going to buy it if it wasn't numbered. So it's just something really interesting to think about. I think it would be very cool if they did turn this into a sort of a revolving thing where they release new colorways. I mean, imagine if there was a pink one available, I would die. But kind of like similar to the Hermes Birkin, how they have these seasonal colors that come out is Louis Vuitton doing something similar here where they didn't want to limit themselves because they want to see how well this does and then expand on it. Please let me know in the comments how important exclusivity is to you when buying luxury pieces. Does it annoy you? Do you think that everyone should just be able to buy it if they have the money, similar to a lot of people have that complaint about Hermes? Or do you like exclusivity and does that make you more interested in buying the item when you know that it's limited? No shame here, happy to hear everyone's opinion. I thought this was a really interesting topic because Louis Vuitton has not publicly said how many of these bags are being produced and personally I want to know. What I do know and what I can promise you though is that this bag is more exclusive than an Hermes Birkin because we know that there are hundreds of thousands of Birkins in the market based on several news sources, books, etc. You can also just see them in the market. So at this point in time, this bag, whether the price is warranted or not, this leather speedy bag is more exclusive than an Hermes Birkin, for example. Definitely more exclusive than a Chanel classic flap, etc. So if exclusivity plays a big part in your buying decisions, then this might be a bag that you want to add to your collection. Again, I hope this is an interesting topic. Please sound off with your opinions in the comments. If you like sort of discussion topic videos like this, let me know so I can make more of them. But I, I did just think this was an interesting topic to talk about. So please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel to see what I bought from this collection. I can't wait to receive all of my pieces and unbox them. Let me know any other interesting topics you might want me to discuss, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.